Hello, this is Marcus here in my beautiful ID3 First. Now I'm going to do a charging test in the ID3 First. I want to see how long it takes to get from 20% to 80% on a 100 kilowatt charger. Yes, Portugal finally does have some 100 kilowatt chargers. So I go to one in Tours Vedras and we're going to do the same test on a 50 kilowatt charger from 20% to 80% to see how long it takes. Because in Southern Europe and particularly in Portugal, the majority of chargers are 50 kilowatts. And how much longer does it really take on a 50 kilowatt chargers? Are they as bad as people say? Or are 100 kilowatt chargers as good as people say? Electric charger, do you see an electric charger? Yes, and it's somebody is there, but they're not using it. No bizarre. Ah, but it's a normal car, it's a, it's a normal ice car. So obviously they're not using it because they're not, because they're just blocking it because they can do that because they're a nice car. Hopefully I go green because I need the energy, it's green. And it's exactly 29 minutes past um, seven o'clock. 29 minutes past seven o'clock. Let's see what charging speed we've got. As I said, we started at 7.29, it's still 7.29. We're still at 20%, got eight kilometers a minute. That's quite good, but I, that must be 50 kilowatts. 7.31, we're already at 25% on this 50 kilowatt charger. So in six minutes, it's 7.35 now, we're already at 30%, it's a 50 kilowatt charger. It's saying here that we've got 35 minutes left. Yeah, I see the chargers, they're all 300 kilowatt charger. Whoa, let's go in there. Yeah, there it is, free for us, 100 kilowatt charger. Now we're currently at 9, 20%, 20%, and it's exactly 7.05. So we're going to see how long this is going to take us to get to 80%. We're currently at 10 kilo, kilometers per minute. We're already at 22% and it's 7.06. I think this is going to go very quick. To 9%. Saying 30 minutes left to 80%. So let's look here. On the left hand side, we have this 50 kilowatt charger. Um, looks a bit clunky, the 50 kilowatt charger. And on the right hand side, we have the sexy looking. 100 kilowatt charger. What did my ID3, a 58 kilowatt hour usable car, do from 20% to 30%? So on the 50 kilowatt charger, it did it in six minutes, and on the 100 kilowatt charger, it did it in just three minutes. So that's right, 50 kilowatts is half the speed of 100 kilowatts, so that's perfect. Now let's get back to the action. Here we're now at 35%, and it's 7.38, and uh, and as you can see, the outside temperature is 19.5 degrees Celsius. So, as you can see here, let's just have a quick look here at charging speed. It's only seven, 12 minutes past seven. We've gone down to nine kilometers per minute and we're already at 40%. Now this time, 30% to 40% of 50 kilowatt hour charger, six minutes, but slightly slower this time than 100 kilowatt charger at four minutes. Let's look at that from the 20% to 40%. So from 20% to 40%, that is 12 minutes on the 50 kilowatt charger and seven minutes on the 100 kilowatt charger. So currently the 100 kilowatt charger from 20% to 40% is beating the 50 kilowatt charger by five minutes. Let's go back to the charging. So we're at 45% and it's now 7.44. 45%, 7.44, we're still doing six kilometers per minute. So now at 46% and we've got 25 minutes left. So we've got 50% now and it is 7.47 and we've got 25 minutes left. We've gone down to eight kilometers per minute and we're already at 43% and it's uh, 13 minutes past seven. Anyway, it's so we've got 25 minutes left until 80%. So that will be phenomenal. I can't remember what time we started when it was 20%. Was it seven minutes past seven, I believe? So this is definitely charging quickly. It's 16 minutes past seven o'clock and we're already at 49%. Now, I do have enough to go home now, probably. So uh, this would be a really quick charge to go from 16% to 50%, um, but I'm going to stay longer. So 40% to 50%. This took on the 50 kilowatt charger six minutes again. <laughs> we're 
getting constant six minutes here on the 50 kilowatt charger. But on the 100 kilowatt charger, again, it took four minutes, so two minutes quicker. But let's have a look at the difference now from 20% to 50%. So on the 50 kilowatt charger, we've taken 18 minutes so far, but on the 100 kilowatt charger, we've taken 11 minutes. So currently that is seven minutes quicker. Let's go back to the charging. So currently we're at 60% and it is and it is 7.54. So it's taken us 25 minutes to get to 60%. Uh, we're still doing six kilometers per minute and we've got 15 minutes to go. Now you see at 59% it's gone down six kilometers per minute, which I think is around 60 kilowatt. So sure it will be slowing down to 50 kilowatt soon. It still says there's 20 minutes left, so it's 20 minutes for the last 20 percent so really i should leave now uh, but i wanted to see how much it, how quick it is from 20 percent to 80 percent but really i should leave now because it's slowing down now so 50 percent 60 percent so seven minutes on the 50 kilowatt charger is it slowing down slightly from the six minutes perhaps and on the 100 kilowatt charger five minutes so that seems to be slowing down slightly as well but it's still beating the 50 kilowatt charger Let's look at 20% to 60% then of the battery. So, so far, the ID3 on the 50 kilowatt charger has been charging for 25 minutes. And on the 100 kilowatt charger, it's been charging for 16 minutes. So it's beating the 50 kilowatt charger by nine minutes currently. Exactly eight o'clock and at 70%. So 31 minutes to get to 70%. We've gone down a little bit now to five kilometers a minute. So we've got 10 minutes left. So, um, that should be 1% every minute then. So now, as you can see, we're at 65%. Um, it's 7.25. Um, it's saying we've got 15 minutes left. For 15 minutes, just do another 15%. Let's just have a look at this here. Really nice charging location. You can see the Zoe. You've got two Type 2s here. Little ones where you plug your cable into it. Type 2 here, I guess a 22 kilowatt, another Type 2, 22 kilowatt. And you've got one of these chargers, 50 kilowatt, Chadamo and CCS. And here you've got a CCS 150 kilowatt and Chadamo. I don't know what the Chadamo goes up to. I hear it's actually giving me charging speed. I've been sat in the car all time without knowing the kilowatts that have been used. But yeah, it's giving me the charging speed. Uh, but it's not giving me the kilowatts, is it? Why don't people want to give you the kilowatts anyway? We've been here for 20 five minutes almost um, we've put in 30 kilowatt hours in that time um ah, he's telling me the kilowatts we're at 47 kilowatts it's just below 50. so if i had known this before i could have seen how many kilowatts we're using oh, i haven't used one of these charges before i'm just so bad at doing this these videos but anyway so 60 percent 70 percent what's happened here on the 50 kilowatt charger, we're charging it six minutes, and on the 100 kilowatt charger, we're charging it seven minutes. But I think they're both charging now at 50 kilowatts. I think uh, that seven minutes is because I didn't have a stopwatch, and we're not doing it 100% scientifically. It, it's rough within a minute, um, so that's why. But I think they're both charging at 50 kilowatts. So between 60% and 70%, they're both charging at 50 kilowatts. It seems. So let's have a look at this from 20% to 70%. So from 20% to 70%, it's taken 31 minutes on the 50 kilowatt charger. And on a 100 kilowatt charger, it's taken 23 minutes. Let's go back to the action. 79% and seven minutes past eight. And the car will stop automatically. So that's when we time it to, to when the car stops the charging. So currently we've been charging for 38 minutes. 80% and that's 39 minutes. Now you see that stopped 39 minutes to 80%. So that is great. Here we're at 76%. It's saying five minutes left. So it's be finishing soon. Um, it's 7.32. So we're gonna wait for this to stop. Um, when it gets to 80%, it should stop on its own. Um, so that'd be great to see. 80% it's and it's stopped. 80% it's stopped and it's 7.35. So. <laughs> From 70% to 80%, it's taken eight minutes on the 50 kilowatt charger and seven minutes on the 100 kilowatt charger. Both here, they're charging it uh, more or less 50 kilowatts, I believe, are more or less the same. So let's have a look. And these are the final results. So from 20% to 80%, 39 minutes on the 50 kilowatt charger and 30 minutes on the 100 kilowatt charger. 30 minutes. So from 20% to 80%, 
The difference is only nine minutes. Now I'm surprised, I'm shocked. I was expecting it to be much quicker on the 100 kilowatt charger, but it's only nine minutes difference. Hmm. Mm. I'm going to think about that. Before I think about that, I want to talk to you about the amazing Mio app. So the Mio app on the 50 kilowatt charger, if you can see here, it actually estimated it from 20% to 80% to be 42 minutes, where in reality it was 39 minutes. So the estimate here was only three minutes out on the Mio app. And you can see price and everything, and you can look at this before you even arrive at the charger, and you can move these here up and down. So now let's look at the Mio app, what it said about this 100 kilowatt charger would take 29 minutes and 29 seconds. In reality, it took 30 minutes. It's only 30 seconds out on the Mio app. You see how amazing the Mio app is. If you're in Portugal, definitely install it. It's fantastic. So what we're going to do now is a range from 10% to 20%. Now, the 50 kilowatt hour at 10% to 20%, that's going to be able to pull the full 50 kilowatts, so it's going to take six minutes. On the 100 kilowatt, it's going to be able to pull the full 100 kilowatts, so that's going to take three minutes. So we're going to extrapolate from that. So if we look at 10% to 80%, we have to do 39 minutes plus six minutes on the 50 kilowatt charger. So then that takes you up to 45 minutes. And on the 100 kilowatt charger, that only takes, you only add three minutes, that takes you up to 33 minutes. So that means now we've got a difference of 12 minutes. So it's 12 minutes slower on the 50 kilowatt charger, 45 minutes versus 33 minutes. So now the difference is getting more. But I would say, if you're on a 100 kilowatt charger, don't charge to 80%. Charge to 60%, because it gets slow after 60%. It goes down to 50 kilowatts on the ID3. So just charge to 60%. So on the 50 kilowatt charger, um, to charge from 10% to 60%, that is going to take you 31 minutes. And on the 100 kilowatt charger, that's going to take you 16 minutes plus the three minutes extra. That's going to take you just 19 minutes. So now we've got 31 minutes plus versus 19 minutes. So you've got a 12 minute saving here on the 100 kilowatt charger. But let's think about this. Why did I choose between 20% to 80%? Because 20% is a nice value to arrive at a charger with. If you go down to 10%, then you might worry about range, anxiety, etc. I do. And because even the 50 kilowatt chargers in Portugal are not too close to each other, you want to have around 20% of the battery. 20% of the battery at motorway speed means you've got about 50 kilometers of range. Um, and at national road speed, it probably means you've got about 75 to 100 kilometers of range. And why do we stop at 80%? Because the car recommends to stop charging at 80%. After 80%, it gets much lower than 50 kilowatts, and it just doesn't make any sense. So I'm absolutely amazed and surprised by the results, 39 minutes versus 30 minutes. What is showing us here that 50 kilowatt chargers are good. Why are we obsessed with 100 kilowatt plus chargers? when actually 50 kilowatt chargers are good and 50 kilowatt chargers are everywhere. They're all over Europe. There's many more 50 kilowatt chargers all over Europe than there are 100 kilowatt chargers. All I hear about is EV drivers, myself included, complaining about 50 kilowatt chargers. But just look, they're fantastic. <laughs> they really are good 50 kilowatt chargers. We should stop complaining about them and stop wishing we had 100 kilowatt chargers because you can see the, the Differences are small. So let's have another look at this. Why are 50 kilowatt chargers good? Because in Portugal, I like to charge early and often. So often I'll arrive at a charger with say 40% and go to 80%. Why do I ch charge early and often? Because in Portugal on the service station, you only have one 50 kilowatt charger. If you arrive there and there's somebody already charging there and you've only got say 10% charge or 20% charge, you'll have to wait for them. And that waiting takes a long time. So if you go there with 40%, you can say, oh, there's somebody charging that 50 kilowatt charger. I've got enough range now to go to the next charger at the next service station. So like that, you're saving yourself time. But just look at this on the 50 kilowatt charger. On the 50 kilowatt charger, 40% to 80% takes 27 minutes. 100 kilowatt charger, that takes 23 minutes. So here you're only saving yourself five minutes and you're not having range anxiety. And because there's only one charger at each location, you know, the charge, um, early and often mantra, 50 kilowatt charges is fantastic because you get the full 50 kilowatts up to 80%. Now let's look at Ionity. So Ionity have just installed two 
350 kilowatt chargers. You can see them here in the Miao app. They're nearly ready. They just have to be turned on. It's on the motorway between Lisbon and the, and the Algarve. And on the way back from the Algarve to Lisbon, they've installed another two 350 kilowatt chargers. So 350 kilowatt chargers, obviously the ID3 um, Max is out at 100 and a 77 kilowatt hour version of the ID3 Max out at 125 kilowatts. We've got two um, 350 kilowatt chargers. I, I think the only car that can charge closer to that is probably the Porsche Taycan. Now, do you realize how much electricity that is? Two times 350 kilowatt chargers. My house currently is set to 10 kilowatts. So if I use more than 10 kilowatts, my fuse is blow. And it's common in Portugal to have houses a bit less than 10 kilowatts or a bit more than 10 kilowatts. So that means that two ionity charges is equivalent to 70 houses. And honestly, I never used the full 10 kilowatts. So I'm probably using less than that. So two ionity charges is equal to 70 houses. Just, just imagine how much electricity that is in these two charges here. So what does that mean? That means two ionity chargers is equal to 14 50 kilowatt chargers. Now on this route from Lisbon to the Algarve, this is going to get busy in the summer and potentially there's going to be two char cars charging here when you arrive with your car and there could be a queue of cars. Surely it would be better to have 14 50 kilowatt chargers at this location here so there'd be a lot less chance of having queues than two ionity chargers or perhaps even it would be better to have 700 kilowatt chargers not two 350 kilowatt chargers now 50 kilowatt chargers seem to work really well for the id3 um, first because it's an efficient car the 50 kilowatts seem very good for the id3 first um, 100 kilowatts obviously are perfect but for a car such as the e-tron which has an 86 kilowatt hour battery if an e-tron drives up here and it's only got a 50 kilowatt charger then for an e-tron to get a 60 percent charge is going to take just over an hour when the id3 on a 50 kilowatt charger it takes 39 minutes so obviously there's some cars that are going to need these 350 kilowatt chargers but for the majority of cars and for efficient cars like the id3 i'm not sure 100 kilowatt chargers are 100 percent necessary when 50 kilowatt chargers are, are are very good please remember to click subscribe this video has made me think about charging and 50 kilowatt charging versus 100 kilowatt charging and to me to be honest i'd prefer to have two 50 kilowatt chargers at a location than one 100 kilowatt charger leave your comments below and your thoughts and thank you for watching this video